Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all All right, so uh zero degrees. All right. Are we set? We're set. We're all set. right. Quiet in the audience. Oh, are you trying to make it cooler? Trying. I got 45 degrees on this thing. I bet you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it claims 45 degrees. It says. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. That was, oh my God! If it was 45 Celsius, what is, isn't that 140 degrees? That's yes. Like, like, that is, that is like we're cooking. Yeah, we, we, we would be dead. <laughs> listeners, <laughs> listeners, check his math. <laughs> Carol oh, Long is a notorious cell liar. Yeah. Cell phones to stun, please. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Cell phones on stun. <laughs> Camera guy's <laughs> checking his phone. <laughs> <laughs> That would be Camera guy's getting texts. Director of photography, Alex Gowker. Wow. <laughs> Who's the set dresser? Who did I know. That, was, that, was, that, was, that was Alex again. <laughs> ah. So, uh, so uh, we can either cut all of that or have a lot of awkward <laughs> intro. <laughs> awkward intro. It's like the Nerdist. It's oh, just yeah, that yeah, awkward just chatter until they get yeah. started. All right. Well, hey, Stephen, you know what's hot this week? Garrett Wong. And we have him here on the show. Garrett, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yep. And uh, in case you didn't know, this is the uh, show where we pitch terrible, tragically possible... Hollywood pitch ideas. Okay. The the worst best Hollywood movie ideas we could ever imagine. Ever come up with. And I'm I've gotta say I'm the most excited I have ever been about this because we've never gotten to do anything like this with someone from the Star Trek universe. This That's is right. exciting. No. Are you from the Star Trek universe? I am. <laughs> I am That's from over here. Awesome. The Star Trek universe. Why did you come here? I, they have much better health care back there. As far as I can tell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I took a wrong turn at the, at the Andromeda uh, constellation. There, there, there you go. That's right. It's some sort of swap yes. and you're here and now you're stuck here. You're like, I'm oh, stuck here. Man, I know. All right, all right. Earth. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, uh, I think I think what everybody who watched Voyager felt mm. was that there wasn't enough of you all yeah. over the screen. And I know you can't yeah. necessarily say that you're still friends you, with folks, but we will say it for you. Okay. It needed to be just your show. That, <laughs> really, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind of you, Captain uh, Kim. Captain yes, Captain Kim. Nice. Yeah, it's got a K. You, James yeah. T. Kim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will say that um, Voyager having nine series regulars, it makes it more uh, almost impossible to act, you know, to actually um, give enough time to each character sure. to develop, right? Because if you look at uh, Next Gen, they had six people they were mm -hmm. working with, but Voyager having nine, that really hurt the, the whole balance of who gets what episode. And then... Huh. I never really thought of it like yeah, that. <laughs> and then the other side of it was um, they had the, this weird... Uh, I just spit all over your stuff. <laughs> Don't yeah. spit um, on the I, dragon, Don. I'm sorry. That's his, uh, I'm sorry. You uh, can't. You can't. You can't. DNA. DNA. You can have your own. You can't want to spit on. You know, Pat's going to see that and he's going like, you can't be a director anymore. You have spit on dragon, Don. That's like, yes. that's what you think of this? All that's, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Treasonous bastard. <laughs> uh, what was I saying about the, oh, the nine the ensemble yeah. nature and of And then, it. oh, the other thing was they, they didn't allow anyone to be funny except for the doctor and Neelix because the executive producer, Rick Berman, had a feeling that if uh, the human characters were to underplay their char their characters, they deliver their line delivery, if it right. was a, uh, the most two-dimensional that we could possibly, whatever we can be as wooden as possible, that's what he wanted, because that made the aliens look real. That's what he said. So the whole first season we, we shot, we were doing probably maybe a 52 reshoots of, of just scenes where human actors were speaking too, you know, too emotionally. And that's like, like oh, the Matrix, but without aliens. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I'm going to turn that knob down. <laughs> can you act less, please? Yes. Can you like less no, acting? No, yeah. So, consequently, that's interesting. the Doctor became this huge breakout character right. because he was funny. He People actually thought, seemed oh, human. He seems human. Exactly. So then he, all these episodes started to skew towards the Doctor, and then Jerry Ryan dating another Brandon Braga, another executive producer. Right. You know, if you're in bed with the producer, then you're going to get more episodes. So it became the Doctor, Jerry Ryan, <laughs> slash Kate Mulgrew show. Well, really. We are here to right that wrong. Thank you. We exactly. are going to finally make the movie that, that you and the fans deserve. Through the black art of pitchcraft. Through the black uh, art of yes. pitchcraft. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So, now, uh, I understand you have a t-shirt company. I right? do. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I, I'm thinking maybe we bring in, since you have real world experience there, yeah. and Voyager was great, it's going around places, there are planets and things like that, I think you ought to be selling things. 
some sort of, I don't know, some sort of trade federation, perhaps. <laughs> okay. Selling yeah. stuff right. as you go through the cosmos. So vo- the Voyager Trade Federation. Exactly. Ship. Okay, exactly. Sure. You know, you've gotten back to Earth. You've yeah. finally gotten the captaincy that you deserve. Right. And they're like, now go sell stuff. That's how the Federation is is trying to raise money. So I, I sell T-shirts to the galaxy. Absolutely, <laughs> and other things. We can have other things in the cargo hold. I okay, that's okay. possible. Sure, why not? Well, Are you down with it? Well, I, I think so. And I, I think that I think that one of the things that you get when you get that kind of gypsy nomadic lifestyle is a more folksy kind of attitude. Yeah. So I think maybe we need something like a like a an acoustic guitar intro. So you're really, yeah, you're really yeah, wanting this that, to be wagon train to the stars. And maybe yeah. some bongo drums too. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, sort yeah, of almost a drum circle feel right. to it. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. absolutely. That's good. Do that. We can, uh, I, I think that the ship doesn't need to be called Voyager, though, because no. I mean, like, because that's kind of, I don't know. So Voyager two, not Voyager. Well, it's right. we're selling things. That's our mission, right? right. So exactly. Old June bug. Like what? Old June, what? June, <laughs> June, <laughs> old June bug. You, So you really are going for the the Western feel. You're yeah. just going to foreground. Old June bug? The U, well, it, uh, you know, no, it's it's got to be like the USS Reliant. Okay, I was going to go with June USS bug. Flea Market, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, you, it's USS. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over Labor Day weekend. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're over Who made these coordinates in the galaxy? <laughs> That's Come on right. now. Bring your ship on. <laughs> well, Captain Kim could... may have fallen on some hard times. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> what kind of a. Uh, do, do you think he gets like sponsorships or do you think like. Uh, no, I think you got to make it on your own. Scott I think that's part of the. That's part of the tension there. Sure. Will he be able Will to sell able stuff? <laughs> that's the kind of drama people come back time after time to watch. Right. Like, I think all the famous movies that I've loved, like Lawrence of Arabia, have always had selling at their sure. Core. Or just bargain hunt. Sure. Or bargain hunt. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. All right. No, we need to round out your crew. You yeah. Know, we need to add if if you've been promoted to captain. Yes. We need some other people around you. I'm perhaps not nine. Right. We can we can let's, track yeah, that. We six. can slim that, let's especially say, for a movie. That's correct. <laughs> There's just not enough time no. to develop all of no, that. No, no. So six characters, other characters. Who would you do? Who would you pitch? Well, I mean, the real question is is you know, as as the lead male on a science fiction show, you're yep. going to make out with pretty much all of them. Yes. So the question is really, who would you do? You know what? Okay, <laughs> give me give me a, give me an Orion slave okay. girl. I'll take an Orion slave girl. I'll take a Dabo girl. Okay. And um, some nondescript. Alien woman we haven't seen to a race that we haven't Maybe seen. Maybe a black so, face, yeah. white face. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Ah, are you, are the you the black, left, yes. Are you lefty or righty? I uh, will go with the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but no, you're right. Good idea. So, black face, white now, face. Now, you were talking about an Orion slave girl. Maybe there is an Orion slave girl who has escaped and now is part of the crew. You have taken her on. Yes. And so she, you have that sort of tension. You yes. get the moonlighting, will they, won't they. Yes. They can drive right. the, yes. the movie forward. You obviously need yes. an engineer. You need a, like maybe a female engineer. This you know time. what? They should all be women. How about that? <laughs> just an all all woman, woman crew. crew. <laughs> only man on that whole ship. Cap- okay? Captain Kim and his yeah. all women mercantile crew. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And I, ha- you know, when you go to uh, restaurants and they give you that little buzzer thing like right. that, um, I could have like a buzzer that basically right. for so each that girl. Can... Yeah, that that it needed me to come and help them. <laughs> this is definitely whatever. going in a direction. Yeah, we've just totally gone down there. <laughs> We're slowly creeping into our territory, and then we keep going. We're getting and really, I think this is what Roddenberry dreamed of when he first came up with Star Trek: is how can we really just have it be uh, all sex, all, all the sex, time? all the time? That's what Shatner that. dreamed of. Like, that's that's right. Really, that's any captain. Of. That's right. So we have a female engineer, right? I, I think right, definitely yeah. a female engineer. Okay. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I that, that's yeah, and that's that's what uh, I think that the geek community can really stick to. Yeah. And they're like, don't worry, the show's equal opportunity. It shows girls engineering. Things. Right, absolutely. Can we yeah. actually talk about actors who you'd cast in those roles? Yeah, absolutely. Well, if yeah. you have suggestions. No, you can't. I want. I need Summer Glau. Somewhere. <laughs> Summer I need Glau. Summer, Glau. Summer Glau. Somewhere on that show. I don't okay. care. We can make Summer Glau and Felicia happen. Day. Felicia Day and right, so Summer Glau. Felicia Day as the engineer. Oh, oh there you yes. go. I think yes. that yes. Both yes. Is, plays right into her wheelhouse and is there. going to bring in a lot of viewers. Yes. Maybe some kind of robot for Summer Glau. It's a robot, yeah. yeah. She, mm-hmm. could be, she could be a robot. A yeah. robot. A robot. Uh, yeah, so Summer and Felicia Day would be my... Choices we're, we're just so choices. we are building a, a geek crew to yeah, end geek crew. We we are. That would be amazing. <laughs> Why did they not do this before? I don't it seems know. Pretty self evident now that uh, we talk about it. Yes. Well, yes. I'm not I'm not entirely sure that uh, Jerry Ryan's character is is you know off the show. I mean, maybe you know okay. she's, she's falling on a hard time. She's getting a job right. doing some data mining. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All right. So like using uh, the implant to yeah sort, sift through the data and, and, and sure. repurpose more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
She's been demoted to five of nine or whatever. Right? <laughs> she's gone down. She's and now, down, and now down she's, a little bit. Now she's a spammer. She's, she's plugged like, in and sending out spam. <laughs> yeah, it's very sad. <laughs> she, she's, just, she's, been, she's busy doing telemarketing. Oh, right no. now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hang on. You ready? Another call's coming. <laughs> yep, yep. That's right. You have to rescue her. She could be the communications <laughs> officer again. Totally, totally. Yeah, that's how you, you rescue her from right. telemarketing. She's telemarketing... Um, Ballroom dance lessons for ballroom a ballroom dance, dance school. The Fred Astaire dance, that's actually a real school, the Fred Astaire ball, ballroom dance. That's excellent. But occasionally yeah. she just takes a 900 number call. Yes, every <laughs> night. <laughs> 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 I have to take this. I have this. to take this, yes. 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 So who, who do we have as your second? Oh, my second? Would yeah, be... this has to be the character who's equally powerful to you that you will not get to make out with except in alternate reality episodes okay. or at the very end of the sure, series. Sure, right. sure. Oh, my goodness. Who could that be? So delayed gratification, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Oh, okay. How about uh, how about uh, from Firefly? Um, not we're gonna back the car. No, the the engineer. Oh, Jewel State. Jewel yeah. State as a second, maybe. Wow. So wow. we've got Felicia Day as an Felicia engineer. Jewel State. Jewel State as a second. <laughs> we are either producing the best uh, geek sci-fi crew ever or uh, an actual Siffy Channel show. Does it have and to be more robot? Is, that's true. It does not have it to. It doesn't be have to be <laughs> right. And our robot is is going to be uh, um, Summer Glow, right? Summer Glow. Yeah, summer Summer yeah. Summer, summer is our is our female data. Basically. Right. That's right. Okay. That's right. So so we have Damn, recreated. This is awesome. We have made a, a Star Trek Firefly. Yes. It's really <laughs> what we've done. So we've made, Especially with your old June bug. Right. Right, right. there. That's folksy yeah. bongo. You know, people that. wanted that to be like a trilogy. We're just bringing that over into another universe. Man. That's how we're going to going to make this happen. That sounds. Wonderful. I don't see how this doesn't just succeed I, beyond our wildest dreams ever. ever. Well, it's it'll be it's like, almost too good to be. It'll be, like, <laughs> be like how in Firefly everything was in Chinese, but then we actually have an Asian actor. Yeah, right. Exactly. Chinese. <laughs> so there you go. So there you go. Yeah. See, that would be a, that'd be kind of now, exciting. Now, um, who are, who is the enemy going to be? What is, what's the wow. capitalism? Capitalism? No. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're sort of reintroducing capitalism. Yeah. To the, now the, just the, enemy. the Federation is or, the enemy. No, the Walmart fleet is what the I'm saying. The Walmart fleet. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, swooping in and shutting in down and shut the down. smaller yes. time operators. Yes. They come in. Yes. Well, we'll have to probably change the name a little bit. I'm guessing yes. Walmart doesn't the, want the wall. The wall, mm, yes, the WM Empire, or whatever <laughs> yes. that we're, we're fighting by against. And yeah, I'll, <laughs> by and large. Yeah, by and large. We can, we can redo by and large from that. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, I, I like I like the idea that uh, I want I want your ship to be just lashed together from other ships. Really? Just yeah, just just, a, just an amalgamation just of a, every other. It's just always having to it together. And perfect. It's a shuttlecraft that. with some engines just tied on. <laughs> oh, to it. I love that. <laughs> just, I love that. So yeah, yeah. I think I think we've got a winner. I, I think this sells. How does this I, not sell? I know. I, I don't. I don't. I think this is a winner for sure. And again, the Voyager you always deserve. That's right. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. It's about be, time. That'd be wonderful. And um, and finally, it brings Star Trek back. I mean, it's been languishing. No one's been doing anything with it no. for the right. last couple yeah. of years. It's so, like, you know, they're profitable IP. Yeah. J- right. JJ is uh, filming the next next one as we speak, so that should yeah. be done pretty soon. He's pitching you apart, right? Huh? He's pitching you apart, right? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> you deserve it. That's sad. He didn't let anyone from the except for Leonard Nimoy. No other person from the Star Trek world got to act uh, on his. Or, uh, or even you know the funny thing is it didn't even matter what you know capacity you worked uh, as if you were a, a makeup artist on a prior Star Trek he didn't allow you to work on wow, that Star Trek you really wanted yeah, a complete sort of like break new, complete break it was like the new regime the new president came into town and just you know kicked out that prior cabinet and brought a whole new cabinet in is what he wow. did and it hurt me because my feeling was I was really I wanted to you know, shake up Trek myself. I wanted a quicker pacing, more comedy, and that's pretty much what more he did. actual yeah, human exactly. acting. So it kind of made me a little unnerved that he never um, uh, gave me a shot at even sure. trying out for Sulu, for that matter. Yeah, you know, sure. I mean, that is my favorite voice to do. <laughs> so, I, mean, I, I mean, if you're talking about actually talking like Sulu, I'm, this is that's what I've done my entire life. So, See, uh, the whole series, though, you're going to have to do the voice. I, I, know. I, I would have done the voice Actually, the entire show. Eventually, we have some sort of time travel thing where, just like in the reboot, you meet older you who is awesome. oh, actually yeah. Superman. Yeah. We'll bring that all back together. By then, older you could actually just be you because John Cho will never age. That's true. <laughs> he won't they, ever they put him age. back in the hyperbaric chamber <laughs> where he's between films. Freaking John Cho. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's young forever. My sister used to call him 
Asian Matthew Perry is what he does. Because he kind of has that, he kind of has that really, you know, that's sort of like that, 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 that frat boy looking. If you look wow. at him, oh, that's incredible. He, that no, I, I, I think that is the best summation but, I have ever heard. Well, Matthew Perry now has a show with John Cho on his show. I, so I thought, I didn't realize oh, that. <laughs> Matthew Perry, Asian Matthew Perry. So, you know. That's, we that's the, how they're bringing the balance yeah, out. That's how they are. Yeah. Actually, they're kind of like the planet series if you can gather all the Matthew oh, Perry's. Yeah, all the Matthew Perry's. <laughs> Sorry. There's every ethnicity of Matthew yeah, Perry yeah, yeah. out there. East you... Indian Matt. Hello, I'm East <laughs> Indian Matthew Perry. Yeah, yeah. So oh every God. Matthew okay. Perry in the world, be Joseph. Yes, Absolutely. Captain Matthew Perry comes when they bring <laughs> them all together. That's just Perry. Matthew Perry. Oh, just, <laughs> that's right. That's how Matthew Perry eventually uh, comes. Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll yeah. be like that. Um, what was that movie? Multiplicity or? Oh yeah, where Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was like, yeah, yeah. But it'll be all the different Matthew Perrys of the world in the same team. Oh That's That's the next movie I'm pitching. The Zombie Apocalypse. Of all Matthew Berry's. Of all Matthew Berry's. It'll, it'll be like the um, the bit in the Matrix uh, with Agent Smith. Only it's all Matthew Perry's oh, spreading perfect. everywhere. Perfect. Right. Or the disease makes all humans look, end up looking, looking like, like Matthew, Matthew Perry. Perry. So they're oh, the no. Matthew Perry. There's zombies. a Doctor yeah. Who episode like that. Too. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. where the oh. master replicates himself. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. So only it will be Matthew Perry. That's Absolutely terrifying. Well, <laughs> Garrett, we really appreciate you coming out and being a part of the podcast. I had a great time. I really appreciate it. I love being here, and you know. Have me back again at another time. We'll do Absolutely. Yeah. How about you five kidding? minutes? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> You're not running. <laughs> we'll start pitching <laughs> Matthew right. Perry. Uh, That's right. The Matthew, zombie the Matthew movie. Perry yeah. apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. The MP apocalypse. Well, thanks for coming out uh, from Disaster Peace Theater. I'm Alex White. I'm Stephen Gurday. And we're leaving. And I'm Brooke. <laughs>